you're either gonna hate these or you're gonna love this the tool is called motioner because the whole idea is to make adding motion or animations to your elements a lot easier now if you're someone that's going to benefit from this type of workflow make sure to go to the link in the description and download the motion or toolkit i had the idea for these a few years ago but it was different it was using the fusion effects and then a few weeks ago like two weeks ago i got the idea why don't i use the transitions method for these because it might be a lot more efficient to do that the tool has a few parts we have the main part which is the let me show you right here which is the motion tool which works as the base element you can work and create any type of animation from here you just turn it on let's say turn on vertical slide and then you can adjust the initial position of it like that's for the intro for the outro for example you just put this on the outro and you have to actually invert the inputs right here and also right here and now you have an outro basically now if you want to know exactly where these element ends off screen you uncheck the invert and then just bring these up here maybe like that and then you reinvert it and now you have the outro like that so that's basically how it works you can stack right now the horizontal animation vertical rotation scale camera shake to add a little bit of an extra touch fade blur and also glow in the future i might add other things like rgb splits and stuff like that but that depends on what people want and how it ends up developing or evolving now that's the basics of how that works it's pretty straightforward you turn the toggle on for the animation to activate then turn it off to deactivate that actually deactivates the notes so it renders a lot faster for the motion part this is mainly to add animations for the intro and the outro of the elements and that's why i have here the motion presets which are right now 98 of them but i'm planning to add more because there's still a lot of ideas that i want to put in this toolkit so how it works is here we have the intro fade in or the outros for the intro you just drag and drop the right the right there now let's say you like you can preview these let's say you like these just add it right there and now we have that flicker intro and then you can combine that with let's say on a slide out animation say slide out flicker for example you just play that and now we have that intro and outro and we didn't even keyframe anything it's just a matter of previewing it and then that's it let me give you an extra tip of something that you will definitely like okay now let's say you've added at one of these presets you loved how it ended up and you customize it even further and then you just let's say you add this glow animation to it and you fell in love with that and you decided okay this is going to be the default transition that i use for all the elements on this type of videos that i'm going to make on this series for example well what you can do right here is you right click and then you can create a transition preset here let's say your project is called um documentaries 2 for example and then you just and then you can also add a custom right here for example just so that you know or custom one so you press ok and this is not going to save the transition in the fusion section but it will save the transition in the user transitions section so all you have to do now is like just find the name of your project and then that will have all the transitions that you have to say so my recommendation is that you save whatever project you're going to use this on and then add that word at the beginning of the transition preset that you just saved so that you can find these more easily in the future so that's pretty much it except there's more now if you're paying attention you can see that there's this other one called motion or animate now i created this tool to help you move an element from one place to another and then add animations in between without having to add all the keyframes and modify things and the same principle applies to these so we have this swabby logo right here and then let's say we want these to move these all the way to this point so actually let's just make it up here for example if we want to do that we can add keyframes modify these and then have to adjust using this keyframe editor which i don't really love yet still needs a little bit of work so i created this animate function that allows you to put the position of the clips right here and then you can stack other effects onto it so let's say we want these to move from the center all the way up here now the way that motion or animate works is that you just simply input the position x and y of the two clips that you're using and then that will allow you to go from one place to the other 
basically we have these ones start at the center so we just leave that at zero here and zero here on the second clip we have let's say we put these up here so we have to go to the video copy the position x and input that on the second clip and we're going to do the same for the y right here now that will move from the center to that position right there and then from there you can modify the curves or you can add any other type of animation that you want to add to it let's say you want to animate the, let's say you want to add blur to it for example let's say we want these to be 50. in this case it's going to start at 50 but what we can do is we can either invert these first and then we're going to add these in the middle and we're going to bring these down to zero right here you can select these and press shift f and then you can adjust that curve now it will become blurry and then it will end up in zero again so we have an extra animation or an extra layer of animation and then if you like that you can save that as a preset again this is designed specifically for when you're using it on the same element so we have this logo and the second part is the same logo as well you can combine these and mix it but it might look a little bit weird but feel free to play around with it and see if it ends up looking good in your project then you can combine these with something else now if your goal is to transition from one element to another one you still can use these but i think there's going to be a few things that i have to tweak and that would make it work better for those type of situations but that is something that will be added in the future most likely so we've covered pretty much everything is there something else that we need to cover one little tip by default sometimes when you create a new timeline project or a new timeline let me create this right here this format right here the mismatch resolution will be center will be skeletal image to fit yeah that's what it says now for some reason these makes things break sometimes so what you want to do is ideally you want to make sure that the image right here or the scaling is set to fit that way the expression that I've added to the animate function is going to work in the vertical and horizontal resolutions without any issues. So let's go to the horizontal timeline now. All right, we have this horizontal timeline and we need to adjust the position of these because it changes when you go from one resolution to another. Now, all we need to do again is copy the position of the X and Y values. Right here and we're gonna end up in that same plate in that second plate oh one thing I forgot to mention is that we have this preview right here the preview upcoming clip which allows you to know exactly where that second clip it should go that's basically what it is for because the first version that I created you had to manually bring that second clip into that and then I decided let me try and see if I can add the control so that it automatically knows where to go and that and that's how it works right now but i could add a manual mode as well if you guys want it so that is basically everything that you need to know about this motioner tool so the motioner initial toolkit brings the motioner tool which you can add in the intro and outro or pretty much anywhere then it brings the motioner animate which is specifically designed for these type of scenarios and then lastly we have the motioner presets which are for the intro and outro of your elements or your clips and in the future, we'll have a motion or transitions, which is more for like a bit more flashy transitions and not so much for animations of elements that are coming into your video. Now, if you want to add motion to your elements a lot faster without all the headaches of keyframing, stack more effects onto them and then save them as a preset to use in the future, then make sure to go to the Swabby website and download the Motioner toolkit because I am 100% sure that it will make your life a lot easier. That's it for this video. Go and download it now. Stay tuned, and I'll make more videos about this tool really soon. Bye.